from Shenandoah, from Page County, from KMA Land. This is KMA News Headlines. Good afternoon. I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this Monday afternoon. Shenandoah is returning to stricter water conservation measures because of continuing dry conditions. Officials with the city's water department are expected to recommend reverting to stage three water conservation at Tuesday night Shenandoah City Council meeting. City Administrator H. A. Lyman told us today the regulations are needed. Stage three regulations are needed because of the recent lack of moisture. We looked at it late last week. We were the week before there was a chance of some significant precipitation, but it kind of all went away. We've been hurting from that perspective. You know, the wells levels are down, which is more what we base it on. The precip helps, but, you know, obviously we've got to wait to see how the wells react. So that's more what it's based on. On a positive note, Lyman says construction of two new water wells in the city's aquifers are progressing. Uh, council members last approved stage three rationing in October of last year, then increased measures to stage four a month later. Increased moisture allowed an easing of restrictions back to stage one in June. State officials say August bucked the trend of above normal rainfall that had been present in Iowa through many of the late spring and summer months. That was the message from the Iowa Department of Natural Resources in its monthly water summary update. According to U.S. Drought Monitor released Thursday, nearly 40 percent of the state is now experiencing D0 or abnormally dry conditions, including much of western Iowa. Tim Hall is the DNR's hydrology resources coordinator. Hall tells King of May News that the return of abnormally dry conditions comes as August was nearly 0.93 inches below normal in rainfall, with a preliminary statewide precipitation of 3.2 inches. As whole grade sharing continues in two KMA land school districts, discussions continue in two other districts. Members of the South Page School Board hold a public hearing at 5 this evening at the district's conference room on a whole grade sharing agreement with the Clarenda School District. A similar public hearing takes place at Wednesday's Clarenda School Board meeting at 5 p.m. at the McKinley Central Office Building. Under the five-year agreement, both districts would continue operating their elementary schools. South Page's 7th through 12th grade students will attend classes in Clarinda, similar to the tuition agreement in effect between the districts this school year. And voters will head to the polls in November on a bond issue referendum for improvements in the CAM school district. School district voters in Adair, Adams, Audubon, and Cass counties will decide on a $22.5 million bond issue to cover the majority of an estimated $30 million project that would allow school officials to bring all students into a K-12 facility in Anita. Currently, middle school and high school students attend classes in Anita, while elementary students attend classes in Messina. KMA, on track weather, sunny this afternoon, highs to the mid-80s, south winds 10 to 15, gusts up to 20, and then mostly clear tomorrow, uh, tonight rather, with lows in the mid-50s. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 this evening and online at kmaland.com. Have a great rest of your Monday. Mike Peterson, so long, my friend.